Hello, I'm Frank Jens, Chief Analyst at IDC. In the coming days and weeks, IDC will publish literally dozens of prediction documents for 2009, each one focused on a specific portion of the technology market. In these next few minutes, I'd like to share with you a brief glimpse of the very top themes and events we see defining the year ahead in IT. In 2009, two powerful forces will collide in the IT market, a deep global recession and a powerful IT industry transformation that's been in progress for the past several years. These two forces, interacting with each other, drive virtually all of our top 10 predictions themes for 2009. And here they are. Prediction number one, global IT growth will be cut in half. And it'll take three years for the industry to get back to 2008 growth levels. This will make it critically important for suppliers to orient towards segments that are spending at above market growth rates. Which leads us to prediction number two. While emerging markets and small business IT spending growth will certainly slow in 2009, they will actually outperform the market by a wider margin than they did in 2008, increasing their strategic importance for our industry. Prediction number three, the IT industry's expansion to the cloud will accelerate in 2009 as the bad economy drives more users to the cloud model's low costs and many, many IT suppliers move quickly from the sidelines and onto the playing field. Prediction number four, the struggling offline economy will drive more shoppers to the online economy as over 1.5 billion people, almost a quarter of the planet, will go online and drive over $8 trillion in online sales. Yes, sales growth will be down on the internet but online commerce will continue to take share from the offline world and at an even faster rate than in 2008. Prediction number five is about the telecom industry, which like the IT industry will see growth cut in half in 2008. The industry will consolidate in 2009, driven by the need for scale in developed markets and a wireless land grab in emerging markets but the industry's key players will also expand aggressively into the world of cloud services, driven by the promise of the cloud model for finally helping telcos reach their promised land of higher value services. Prediction number six, 2009 will certainly be a grim year for mobile gadgets as unit volume growth flattens in mobile phones. As netbook PCs expand the market but threaten notebook pricing and margins, and as consolidation looms in personal navigation devices. Prediction number seven. In 2009, the crumbling of the wall between business and consumer IT will accelerate as the poor economy and the growing Web 2.0 culture drive consumer and business technology together, opening new opportunities, but threatening to create new IT industry dinosaurs those vendors who continue to see the business and consumer worlds of IT as very separate. Prediction number eight, the ongoing reinvention of information access and analysis will accelerate in 2009. Driven by blowback from the financial industry fiasco, the growing information avalanche from consumer social networking and digital video, and the ambitions of key vendors to own the last and the most strategic patch of IT market real estate helping customers find and manage their own precious information. Prediction number nine, in spite of, or perhaps because of the bad economy, green technologies will have a good year, disguised as cost cutting, with strong demand for green technology that can deliver near term cost savings, but temporarily shoving capital intensive green investments like the massive overhaul of the power grid down the agenda. And prediction number 10, a flurry of major government initiatives in 2009 focused on economic recovery, energy and health industry streamlining, and improving financial markets stability and transparency will set up massive IT investments and industry growth for the next three years. It'll be an important year to showcase IT and telecommunications offerings that support these initiatives and to strengthen government relationships in developed and emerging markets alike. These, of course, are just the headlines of our predictions for 2009. Come and join us at IDC's Predictions 2009 webpage at this address, 
to see full details of these predictions and our analysis of what they'll mean for you in 2009. We look forward to helping you stay informed and well prepared for the challenging and transformative year ahead.